Hi, and welcome to another uh, Virtual Administrator Tech Flash. In this webinar, we're going to describe how easy it is to use SonicWall's global management system to upgrade firmware on all your SonicWall firewalls. Now, if you remember the old days, without GMS, you'd have to drive out to the customer site, probably after hours, haul in your laptop, connect it to the firewall, log into your MySonicWall account, download the firmware, and then update your firewall, which probably took you about 10 minutes to do, but you had to drive there and back because there was no way to do it remotely. And all of that meant you probably weren't doing it. You probably were not upgrading the firewalls because it was hard to build a customer to do that when there wasn't really a reason for it. We're well, using GMS. I'm going to show you how easy it is to schedule or perform this firewall update on not just one firewall, but potentially all of your firewalls or, or you know, dozen firewalls of the same model in less than about five minutes. So to get, get started, so to begin with, you're going to log into your GMS system, and you're going to see that at the top, you're going to select the UTM tab at the top of the screen. And down on the left-hand side, you're going to see all of your, uh, your views, basically. Now, there's a couple of views that you're going to find useful in, in, in doing this upgrade. Right now, we're looking at the model view, but you can right-click at the top here, and you can say Change View. And you can select a different view. And, it, and another view might, might be nice is the firmware view. So if you're just looking to upgrade a specific version of the firmware, you can select all the machines that are in that, you know, in that view. So you can see here we've got the two different um, versions, 5.1.0 and 5.609. Okay? I'm going to use it, uh, and, and we can see the model of the machines underneath that as well. So today I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to change back to the model view, and I'm going to look at upgrading the NSA 240 that we have here. So if we click on the NSA 240, and we're in this basically we're in the up oh, sorry in, the, in this particular model, we're going to get the uh, status of that machine, and you can see here that the current version of this uh, NSA 240 is 5.6.0.9-49, right? So we need to upgrade that um, to the latest version. So to upgrade, what we're going to do is in the center window here, make sure you have this little Policies tab selected, and go all the way to the bottom and select the Register Upgrades, and then click on Firmware Upgrade. Before you go any further, always remember to back up your current settings. Okay? To check your settings back up, what you need to do is you're going to go up to the System Menu option, and you're going to go down to where it says Settings. Now, and, and what you're going to see is in the box here, you should see up to five weeks of backups. The GMS system backs up your settings every Saturday automatically. So you should see up to five different weeks here. However, if this is a brand new firewall that you just took out of the box and you went ahead and did all your, your settings configuration, and then you're going to do your, your firmware upgrade, you're going to want to go ahead and click this box here next to the Store Settings Read From Unit. Click that one time and let it finish a backup cycle. You, you'll see that it'll be empty up here and, it, and wait till it comes up and it has the date and the time of the backup so that you have that on file. Okay? All right, let's go back to where we left off. We're going to go back to the Register Upgrades and click on Firmware Upgrade. Now, when we get here, we've got two choices that we can work with. Most cases, you're going to basically going to do a upgrade uh, by just simply selecting the upgrade firmware using the files that are already on the GMS server. We've already loaded those files up there for you. But for um, but sometimes the, you you don't want to maybe use the the standard release. This is only going to if you select the upgrade firmware using the files, it's going to show you the latest version that is in general release. Okay, the latest version in general release. There are times where you might want to go to a beta version, so you want maybe something that isn't in general release, or maybe you want to go to a slightly like one version back. You know, you don't want to use the latest one. So I want to show you for illustration purposes, we're going to upgrade this machine 
uh, twice in, in this webinar. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select a, um, a slightly not current version. And I'm going to do that by clicking on this Browse button here. And I'm going to navigate to where I've downloaded that. So what you're going to need to do is you, if you need to download a later version or a non-current version, you're going to need to contact us and just tell us uh, what you need, and we will send you a link to that version. You'll download it to your machine, and then you select it. So I'm going to actually go, um, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go not to the 5.9, but I'm going to go to the NSA 240, and I'm going to get 5.6.0.10. So I'm going up one, one slight version from where we are right now. I'm selecting that version. Then I'm going to click on uh, the, once I've selected, I'm going to click on the checkbox. Now it's going to warn me that it needs a reboot. So again, that's why we did this after hours, right? So we're going to say OK to that. We're going to say OK to all the, the, the um, uh, privacy agreements and, and terms and conditions there. And it's going to bring up a schedule for you. Now the beautiful thing about, G, uh, about GMS is that we can do this immediately right now, but we could also schedule this to run at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So you can go out there and schedule this to run on all these machines, even in the future. So you don't have to wake up in the middle of the night to do it. In this case, I'm going to run it immediately. So I'm going to schedule it immediate, and I'm going to just simply click Accept. So the box is going to pop up here, and basically it's going to tell us it's going to take about five minutes. It's got to upload the firmware and reboot that. So we're going to go ahead and take a break while we wait for that to happen. Okay, so you can see uh, a new screen has popped up here, and it's basically said, hey, the, the uh, upgrade has been scheduled for my machine, and it's telling us that we have one task spooled. So basically we're just waiting. Over on the left-hand side, you can see that the icon has changed from the solid blue to a little blue with a thunderbolt near it. That basically means it's executing a task. So we're, we're going to go ahead and just keep refreshing this, and, you're gonna, and we're going to wait in, until that task is finished upgrading. And it shouldn't take very long. It's basically probably already done the upgrade, and it's just waiting for the, the reboot. So let's just give it a couple more minutes. So this is another good sign. We see that, the, that we refresh the screen, and it's telling us that it's synchronizing it. This is the last step in making sure that it's ready to be you know, seen in GMS again. So again, we're just going to keep refreshing, and we're going to wait for it to uh, finish resyncing. Re and there we go. So you can see now it's telling us that our firmware has upgraded to 5.6.0.10. That was the version that we uh, selected. You can see that the, this firewall is back online. Now, if you really want to make sure that it's working correctly, go up to the top, select the System tab, and go down to the Status. And you're going to verify that it's 5.6.0.1 here. But most importantly, notice that the last log entry is saying the firmware has been upgraded from version. And you can see down there in the box from 6.09 to 6.01, and you know you've been it's been successfully upgraded. All right, so it was really that easy. Uh, that that whole time, even uh, with with the cutouts, is probably was less than about uh, not not even 10 minutes to do all of it. I, I would say it's even uh, probably le closer to five minutes. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and upgrade it all the way up. So remember, I, we did it the man the manual way. If you thought that was easy you're going to get to see how easy it is just doing the regular one. We're going to go again down to the bottom of the screen to register upgrades. We're going to select the firmware upgrade. And we're going to basically just check the box saying, hey, bring it up to the latest version, the latest uh, version that is in general release. And we're pretty much going through that same cycle, saying OK, agreeing to the statements, and then scheduling it to run. So schedule to run immediately and click on the Accept button or schedule it. All right, so again, uh, we're going to go through the waiting process where it's going to upgrade. Uh, and look, it's already told us it's got a pending task finished. And now we're just going to wait for that to uh, let's just refresh this. You can see the firebolt is there, so we know it's, it's pending. So we'll just wait a second for that to finish. Again, we're going to get the uh, policy panel screen is not available because it's doing the synchronization. So again, this is sort of the last step in the process. 
So I'll just give it another minute. And there you go. After uh, you know a couple minutes, you're going to see there we are at 5.6.011. That is the latest version. Uh, again, we can go to the System tab, look at our status, verify that it has been upgraded from 0 0.10 to 0 0.11. Uh, that is basically the uh, how simple it is. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us at uh, sales at virtualadministrator.com. And we look forward to seeing you again on another virtual administrator tech flash. Thanks for joining us.